I bet those would be better Wait, if he was what? playing PM. They struck the battlefield. Why we get Yoshi's? All right, apparently he didn't pick Dre. Well, that's not a good way to think. Let's go hype. Well, that's not a good way to think. Yoshi's the best stage. Are you saying? Um, all I'm saying is um, nothing really about this is hype. This is amazing. It is war. There's button shaking right now. Look how fast this game is, Viv. Look how fast it is. It's amazing. Yo, we got, we got scar jumping going on. <laughs> Crazy. So the battlefield game one, correct? Yes. So I wonder when these uh, ignorant suckers will realize that they're playing a really bad game. Get off of the mic, dude. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I was I was kind of bashing PM earlier. <laughs> All right. So basically. Falcon has to almost play like um, super def like kind of offensive in the sense that you can't just like attack Yoshi while he's double jumping because the armor will just pierce through a lot of stuff. Um, it's not until higher percents that like really good like knockback moves like knee will start you know breaking the armor. Um, but you can't like be too overexertive because you could just get broken by like a uh, Yoshi Nair because he'll just double jump near you. And you'll get hit by it because Yoshi's just a dinosaur. and doesn't care about half of the moves in this in this in this game. Oh, the fact that Yo. he's a dinosaur. Yeah, dude, dinosaurs are cool, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, that egg. Oh, that was a down smash. Should just down smashed him. We're up throw. Never see that out of Yoshi's. When's when's a when's a falcon gonna be able to do it? You know what I mean? What? Win something? Win, yeah. When Falcon starts playing like Sheik all the time. Just bad? Can't no, be. just like, just tech chase re -grabbing. That's how you should play Falcon, really. Ultimately. That's how like, every character should play, though. Just tech chase re -grabs until you get a combo, and then you just edge guard all the time, and that's you'll never lose. Because what happened was me and my cousin were talking about it, and he was saying, you know how Ken was the best back then. Consider. Back then, yes, okay. He was saying that he actually wasn't, it was really Isaiah. He should have had that spot if he would have played more. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could, I could see that, but Isaiah didn't care enough about singles yeah. towards like the uh, end of like his height. Yeah, otherwise, man, it, it would have been cool because, you know, Falcon. It doesn't even matter, like, Isaiah just plays 64, dude. He's just the best at 64. 64 is whack. 64 is crazy. I don't even play 64. Yeah, but 64 weird. is fun, though. Looks fun. It's like, I think he double jump, but he's a super high percent, so Knee's gonna break the armor. Because Knee's got, like, the best knockback of any of, like, Falcon's moves. You can almost get away with a lot of smash attacks in this matchup, because those also have a lot of knockback for Falcon. Oh, uh, you know he wanted that, um, shield drop. You can always tell when they want shield drop if after you hit them, they just spot dodge. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted that shield drop. Yoshi did? Yeah. Well, Yoshi's actually shield, shield drop is a lot easier. It, is than, it? Yeah, it's pretty easy to do. It, does it have a like a easier window? Like I think a, so, yeah. yeah. Just because of how Yoshi's shield is. Yeah, that's, that would make sense. It's pretty, pretty even. That does make sense. Actually. Oh, in there. Oh, that was sick. Good stuff from Don Don, taking that first game. But Daniel had like he had a lot of good stuff going for him. I tried to be a Roy. No. <laughs> Stop. Stop that sentence. I tried to and be a Roy, and I was like, at first, his forward smashes and his down tail. I was like. Wow, that's like one of that's like two or three moves that are actually good for Roy. And his up airs were doing something, but then I was like, not really. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> then I found out I was like, why am I up airing him? I meant up tilt. This is good, decent. I was like, because okay. then I was <coughs> up airing my opponent, and I was like, why is he only? Why is the knockback only sending him like two inches away from me, even though he's at two hundred percent? Because Roy's <laughs> hitboxes literally don't work. Yeah. 
that was a little, that was a little over, like I said, don't be overexerted. That was, he overexerted right there. But it's okay, he didn't die for it. Like, down smash is so good for edge guarding, dude. It just sends you at a bad angle. It's just a real crap angle. That's a shield drop. Good stuff getting out of there, dude. Don Don knows. He's like, I know how to shield drop. Get at me. Get at the kid, drop. dude. Look at him. Is shield drop hype still? Is it still a hype thing? Or Yeah. Which people should be shield dropping a lot more. Yeah, yeah, people should. I mean, at this point, I just, you know, I shield drop because, you know, I just feel like it's necessary. You yeah. should drop PM. I don't know how you do that because it's like it's like different in between melee and PM. I can I can I can different. feel it. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like it's harder. Like there's less of a window in melee. Probably. I don't know. Oh, he caught him. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's good. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that really helped him because he just down smash anyway. Like I said, down smash is like godlike. Yeah, but you know, Falcon's recovery is still hard. Oh, he jumped into that. Couldn't do anything though, because he's 151 percent and taking a knee to the face. Uh oh. There. I like the forward tilts. Forward tilts is so underrated. I got them like I was doing a couple in friendlies as a Falco, and I feel like I got them because of my Ike. If anything else, like it, they're surprisingly good for spacing. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna money match Sam later. <laughs> I am kind of mad about the fact that I just kind of threw away that last game. Bro, it's okay. I, I, before I came here, I was playing um, Yu-Gi-Oh online. Okay. And you this and guy, like Pooch, probably the only person who even knows what you're talking about. With Yu-Gi-Oh? Pooch is dude. Pooch is a really good at Yu-Gi-Oh. He knows a whole lot about about Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, he used to hustle kids like selling cards to him. Oh god, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. He was like a he was like a vendor. He talked to him, bud. <laughs> That's funny. I had, I Whenever that. Uh, Pooch gets into his rants about Yu-Gi-Oh, he'll start doing all, giving all these like terms and like start speaking like strategy, and I just walk away. I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> no fucking know. idea. It was a uh, float, uh, swing. There yeah, are a bunch of terms for Yu-Gi-Oh. But I mean, Yoshi's. Showing his, he's got, he's got, he got combo. Yeah, com yeah, this little she's he's really something. Kyle is pretty easy to combo. That's the problem. Oh, did he have his jump? Or oh, he's fine. Nice a, a lot of back air from Yoshi. Nice pressure, but better read, because he knew he was trying, gonna try to get away from that pressure. So he followed, he followed him with it. He was really good, actually, inside the mind of Don Don. Oh, he, if he had, if he had, if he had realized that that tech right there earlier and the missed tech, he could have just down smashed and it would have been it. Yeah, he could have charged that, um, like at the start instead of just waiting there. Uh, Come on, Daniel. He can just, he can like hit him. I think. Oh, that's it. <laughs> wow. As soon as he got hit, he paused.